Meteorologist Christine Hansen continues our coverage in this first alert action day. Christine. We have so much going on. I want to show you this satellite image because this tells the story. We talk about bomb cyclones on the East Coast. This is considered a bomb cyclone because of the drop in pressure, 24 millibars in 24 hours. And of course, winds are driven uh, by pressure differences. So everything's circling back in as basically a sinkhole in the middle of the Pacific. It's stalled and it's generating a lot of moisture. It's just marinating there. We'll continue to usher in. Heavy amounts of rain over the next 24 hours. Now we're expecting three to five inches of rain up in the foothills, but Curtis, we did have up to 13 inches over the last weekend in the foothills in 24 hours. So falling on already drenched ground, one to three inches of rain for us up in the Sierra. Everything's still very quiet in terms of rain and snow, but we will see about two to three feet of snow when this is said and done. So throughout the evening hours, the dark green indicating flash. Flooding. That is imminent and that will uh, happen as the rain starts. It's still off to the west. I just want to track this for you throughout the overnight hours between 7 and 1. This is our heaviest amount of rain coupled with the strongest winds. That moves off to these. We start to see some breaks in San Joaquin Valley for tomorrow by 4 o'clock. It's still steady rain and that will continue. We're going to track how uh, the storms lined up in the Pacific. It's basically a parade of moisture and we'll track that coming up. All right, Christine, thank you.